The new edit function that's been added to Rekordbox as of version 6.1 lets you make re-edits of tracks inside your DJ software, right inside Rekordbox. So you can make short edits, long edits, intro edits, outro edits, you can cut out breakdowns, you can take this part of the track and put it there. You can only take the instrumental parts and cut out the vocals if you want. You can double the length of things that you like, like a particularly dramatic part of the track that your crowd just loves. There's all kinds of things you can do with re-edits and normally, you need to do them in another piece of software like Ableton Live for instance, but now it's possible to do them right inside Rekordbox. Now don't expect miracles, it is limited, but that's generally what DJs want to make quick down and dirty edits. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. As ever, if you enjoy this, please do hit the share button. And if you enjoy content like this, hit the subscribe button and then notify. And we'll let you know when we add other videos just like this to the channel. Right, let's take a look. So you have your modes at the top here. Everyone will be familiar with the export mode where you prepare your tracks. And let's say I was preparing this track here, listening through it, putting my cue points on it and so on. But I decided there were a couple of things I didn't like about it. I found this intro bit here to be too short and I didn't like this breakdown here. It's too long, loses the crowd's interest. So I decide that I want to do something about that. Well, I could put cue points on here and jump around in the track when I'm DJing, but now you can do it ahead of time. And the way you do that, it's by heading to the new edit function. So on the new edit page, I'm gonna load that same track. I'm gonna click browser to hide all that stuff there. And this is the new edit window. And what we're seeing here at the top is the full overview of our track. It's got all the beat gridding through. So this is much easier than trying to make a re-edit in something like Audacity, where you're gonna to have to look for individual beats and bars and the areas to cut. This is all being done for you here. So you can see that my beats are nicely lined up in this bigger window. I can zoom in and out of the bigger window here and the black part at the top here is showing me what I can see in the bigger window. So I want to chop this bit here and make it twice as long. You can see and hear, let's just listen to the chat from the beginning. This section continues all the way along until we get to here where the beat kicks in or rather where the, uh, the music kicks in. So that's the bit I want to double the length of. So I have my marker here at the beginning. I can go into beat select here and select 32 beats. And it's put a square or a rectangle around the, the area here, and this, this area here. And then I move down here to, I could either copy it and move it to somewhere else. But in this instance, I'm gonna click clone because what it's gonna do is copy that and just put it immediately to the right of itself. Watch the top waveform. So now we've got the, beginning has now got two instances of this and I'll go to the beginning and click play. So this is our uh, initial eight bar section that started this track that's currently playing now. And at the end of this section, we had the music beginning, but I've now copied the section that we're listening to now and pasted it to the right of itself. So now we're into the second part of that section. It's a second eight, beat, eight bar section which is going to continue until we get to where we were before we cut and pasted that in, which is the beginning of the music, which is what I wanted. I've now got a 16 bar intro. And there we go, the music's begun. So that's my first edit done. Let's move on and look at this breakdown because I'm not happy with this breakdown. Let's have a little listen to this breakdown and see what happens in it. So we're just approaching the breakdown here. Have a listen. So we have that little kind of echo out effect there. And then we're into this quite long, quite boring really, part of the breakdown here. And I think this is gonna lose my floor. Now at this point, it starts to build up again for eight bars. We're clearly in a build up towards the drop. And I'm quite happy with this. No problem with this section. There we go. Bang, we're into the track again. Okay, so the bit that I don't like is this introduction to the breakdown, if you like, the first half of the breakdown, this part that starts here. However, I did kind of like that bit there, this little bit. I kind of like that. And I kind of don't want to lose that. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not sure where I want to use that, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna put it in this part here called the palette. That's now saved here. 
it's looping it for me there. That's now saved. Just saved, just in case. But really, that whole section from here, again, for 32 beats, I don't want. So what I want to do is click delete at the bottom. And that's now deleted that whole section from my track. Let's have a listen now to my new breakdown with that kind of boring bit taken out. So you'll notice we jumped right on the beat, perfectly timed into this second half of the original breakdown. And then we know what happens now. We're going to the drop. So I've now doubled the intro length and I've halved the, the breakdown length. All I've got left is this little bit at the end here. Now, let's hear how the track ends. That's the ending. I could just grab this and shove it on there at the end. I'm going to unselect it and we'll just listen to my new ending. Hey, it's all right. It's not perfect. We don't have any envelopes here to increase or decrease the volume and do other things. This is really very bare bones, but that'll do. I've now got a new version of the track with double the length intro, a shorter breakdown and a little flourish at the end there that might just come in useful when I'm mixing with this track one day. So when I've finished, I can output this. So there's a few other controls that I'll talk you around now, which will show you the stuff we haven't covered yet. So up here, this control here starts a new project, which we don't want to do. This control here uh, saves the project. So now the project is saved in my documents. Now this is the project that I've saved. This isn't the outputted file. So this means that if I was halfway through making this edit and I had to go and do something else, I could come back and load it. And I could have a load of edits up here that I was working on. If you want to output the track so you can actually play it in your DJ software, you click this little one here. And now we get the chance to give it a name, choose the output format and so on. And here we get a chance to save it and it's going to save it directly to a folder called edited tracks. So it now renders that track out and saves it. And when that's finished, I can go back to my DJ software and I can load that new version of the track into my DJ software. So obviously you can go a lot further than that with re-edits, but I think that's the point here. They're meant to be down and dirty and quick. If you want to make re-edits, mashups, bootlegs, really take it to another level, you're going to be using software like Ableton Live, and indeed we made a course with Layback Luke called Layback Luke's Re-Edits, Mashups and Bootlegs, which shows you how to do all that in software like Ableton Live. This is a great place to start, and for a lot of DJs, this is all you'll ever need. Anyway, let us know what you think about this software. Let us know how you make re-edits, the kind of re-edits you make. I'd love to hear in the comments underneath. And as ever, if you've enjoyed this, please do hit the share button. If you want more content like this, hit subscribe and also click the little bell next to the subscribe button. And then we can notify you as soon as we go live or add extra videos to the channel. So get good, get out there, make the moments. I'll see you again very soon.